Welcome to another video. Windows 10 is set to reach its end of life in just a few months. If you're not planning to switch to Windows 11 for any reason, then in this video we'll introduce you to a Linux-based operating system that we believe is a viable alternative to your current OS. Stay tuned. Windows 10 will turn 10 years old in July 2025, and by October of that year, Microsoft will officially end support for it. If you're not a fan of Windows 11, whatever your reason may be, you might already be looking for alternatives. So, if you're on the hunt for a rock-solid, stable, and above all, familiar desktop experience, we invite you to take a look at Fedora, a Linux-based operating system. As of the time of recording this video, Fedora 42 is the latest release. In this video, we'll be focusing on the KDE Plasma desktop version, which offers a user experience especially suited for those accustomed to the Windows layout. To get started, you'll need to create a startup disk. We've already explained how to do that in a previous video, so here we'll just remind you, you'll need a USB flash drive for the process. You can use the startup disk just to set Linux on your machine without installing it. This means your current operating system remains completely intact. However, if you choose to install Fedora and replace your current OS, the process is very straightforward. Just make sure to back up your data first, as the installation will erase everything currently on your hard drive. Installing Fedora is as easy as it gets. Choose the language you want to use, Select the destination drive, create a root account for system administration, create your regular user account. Then simply click on the Begin Installation button and let the system do the rest. Once it's done, shut down the live session and that's it. When you restart your machine, the first thing you'll see is the login screen. Just enter your password. No online account or even internet connection is required to start using your system. Fedora KDE Plasma provides a helpful welcome center that introduces you to your new operating system. One of the first options it gives you is choosing how much usage data you'd like to share with Fedora. You can disable this entirely if you prefer. Another important step here is enabling third-party repositories. This gives you access to popular proprietary software like alternative web browsers. Right after installation, Fedora may offer some updates. These are important. Keeping your system updated is crucial on any Linux-based OS to ensure it remains secure and functional. So, take a few moments to let the updates install. When prompted, restart your system to apply the changes. Now here's the familiarity we mentioned earlier. The desktop layout is nearly identical to what you're used to on Windows. In the lower left corner, you'll find the Start menu, where your favorite apps and all installed programs are listed, neatly organized into categories. For example, in the Office category, you'll find LibreOffice, a popular free open source Office suite. At first glance, it may resemble an older version of Microsoft Office, but it's fully customizable. Next to the Start menu, you'll find shortcuts to useful apps like System Settings, where you can fully customize your system. Dolphin, KDE's default file manager, similar to Windows Explorer, Discover, the software center for installing, removing, and updating apps, all in one place. Thanks to enabling third-party repositories earlier, you'll also find proprietary apps available here. In the lower right corner of the screen, you'll see familiar tools, such as the calendar, notifications, network, and volume controls. And if you're not a fan of Fedora 42's default wallpaper, no problem. KDE Plasma includes several built-in wallpapers to choose from. Fedora 42 gets you up and running immediately. 
Firefox is set as a default web browser. A simple text editor is pre-installed. If you need more than the default apps, you can open Discover to explore additional options. For this video, we'll install Caden Live, a powerful open source video editor. Fedora offers it in three versions, from Fedora's own repositories, as a flatpak, sandboxed and self-updating, as a flatpak from Flathub, a popular Linux app store. Installation is simple, and the app runs smoothly. To manually check for updates, just go to the Updates tab in Discover and click Refresh. And if you want faster access to your favorite apps, you can pin them to the taskbar. Just right-click the app in the Start menu and select Add to Task Manager. If you rely on online services, don't worry, they work perfectly fine in Linux too. Here's the cherry on top. In Fedora KDE, you can completely customize your user experience. You can choose a new global theme or even download themes created by the community. Unlike some Linux systems that lack a working desktop, KDE Plasma gives you a fully functional desktop where you can place folders, files, and shortcuts, just like in Windows. You can even enter edit mode to add widgets. For example, here's an analog clock widget, just like in the good old Windows 7 days. Now, we're not saying you should blindly jump into Fedora KDE or Linux in general. Our goal is to offer you an option, a familiar-looking alternative to Windows 10 worth considering. That doesn't mean your experience will be flawless, you might run into hardware or software issues. If you're hesitant, you could always test Fedora in a virtual machine, such as VirtualBox, which is fairly simple to set up. And remember, today's internet is full of tutorials, forums and guides, so whatever issue you face is very likely solvable with just a bit of time and patience. In the end, it might be a rewarding experience, one that gives you real control over your hardware. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, share it and subscribe to our channel. See you soon!